Hey guys, I'm Chris Reisner and I'm a freelance digital designer and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an animated site mockup. So I used After Effects and Photoshop to create it and I posted this a couple of days ago on my Instagram and I really just like doing animated site mockups because it's a good way to show the entirety of your site. Um, if you post just a regular mockup, you can only really show like the top portion, you know, the top thousand pixels everything below that you're not really able to show off and for most websites that's where the meat of your site is going to be it's going to be you know in the bottom portion of your website so let's go ahead and hop in and start this tutorial so the first thing that you're going to need to do is get the assets uh, for this tutorial, we're going to be using a mock-up from Anthony Boyd. I'm a big fan of his graphics. Uh, he does a really good job, and they're super easy to use. And then we also need a full-page screenshot. I just used a plugin on Google Chrome so that it will take a screenshot of the entire page from top to bottom. So once we have the assets, the next thing that we have to do is kind of prepare our mock-up. Uh, since I did this for Instagram, I went ahead and cropped it to a one-by-one -one square. And that's going to be the very first thing I do. And then to make it a little bit easier to animate in After Effects, I also clicked into the screen to edit what is going to be on the mockup. And I just used the um, paint bucket tool. And we're going to go ahead and fill it with red. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if you look at the mockup, you can't really tell where the screen ends and the graphics starts. And I don't want it to look like lopsided because I didn't put it, the mask in the right spot. So now that I filled it with red, it's super ugly, but you're able to tell exactly where the screen is. From there, we'll just go ahead and save it to our folders. Let's go ahead and export it. Uh, you can do it as a JPEG, PSD, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do a JPEG. And then we're going to go ahead and open After Effects. So we'll create a new project, a new composition. Again, I did this for Instagram. So I did 1080 by 1080, uh, a duration of 10 seconds, uh, 24 frames by second, and full resolution. The background color doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now let's go ahead and open up our folder and get the mockup. And we're going to have to go ahead and scale this down to make it fit. So I just pressed um, S on the keyboard. And then I think it's like 29%. That's pretty close. We don't. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and drag in our screen capture. So you can just put that at the bottom. It doesn't really matter. We're going to click on our iMac layer. And we are going to use the rectangular tool. And it's automatically selected to make a mask. So this is kind of hard. As you start doing it, you'll see just the screen. So you got to kind of go over and this is the part where having the red on the edges really helps command shift. I will uh, invert it right off the bat. You can see how easy this was to do because you can already see the mockup through the screen uh, just with a small uh, click using a mask. So we'll go ahead and scale this down to the size of our screen uh, maybe 28 percent yeah 28 percent works really well and then we're going to grab our move tool actually it's easier just to use shift and go all the way down so once we do that we're going to press onto the screen capture layer and we'll press p on our keyboard and at zero seconds, we'll set a keyframe by clicking the little stopwatch. 
And then we're going to go out, say, two seconds. And we'll start moving uh, the y-axis, so the second one. And we're going to move that all the way to the very bottom. As soon as we get to the bottom, we'll stop right there. And if we play that, you can see how it scrolls. So since this is a 10 second animation, let's go ahead and bring it out to say four seconds. And playing that, it looks pretty good. So then from there, we just command C on the first keyframe. And then we'll go out to eight seconds and go ahead and paste that keyframe. So as you can see, now it will scroll down and then it'll scroll right back up. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and move these out to the 5 and 10 second mark. That makes it a little bit slower. And then we're going to go ahead and select all of the keyframes. And we're going to use the keyframe assistant and we're going to do easy ease. And all that does is it gives it a little bit of extra, um, it eases into the keyframe and eases out. So that it, may, it looks a little bit more natural. It's not just like a very like monotonous one speed. It kind of goes fast and then slows down. So that's pretty quick. That was pretty easy to do. We are going to pull the 10 seconds out to nine seconds so that there is a slight uh, break at the end before it loops. So that at the very end of it, we have a second of just our main screen. And then we're going to go ahead and select everything in this uh, timeline. And we're going to do pre-compose. Click OK. And then we're going to press scale. And just like before, we'll click the stopwatch to set a uh, keyframe. We'll go ahead and set one at the 9 second mark. Set one at the uh, zero second mark, and then at the five second mark, we're gonna go ahead and zoom in. Uh, let's do like 125. And what this does is it adds just a little bit of a zoom on the entire thing, so it makes your design a little bit more dynamic. Go ahead and watch that through just to make sure everything's working the way we expected. And the only thing that I'm not liking about this is if you notice on the very first frame, there's one pixel of white at the very, very bottom. So we're going to go ahead and click into our pre-comp and we're going to go to the screen capture. We'll press P to bring up our position and we are going to move it down ever so slightly just to make sure that we get rid of the black. So we moved it down one pixel and then we'll do the same at the very end. And that just makes sure that it looks really nice so that whenever it's at its main screen, you don't have any white showing. So we can click back out of the pre-comp go back to the very beginning. We'll watch it one more time just to make sure everything's working the way we expect it to. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and add a easy ease on these keyframes too, so that it makes it look a little bit more natural.
And as you do this, you'll kind of realize like some little things that you have to change. So I'm going to move the middle keyframe to four and a half seconds so that it's exactly the same. And I'm going to do that on the pre comp and I'll click in and do it on, um, the screen capture position also. And there we go. So then we'll just go ahead and export file export, you know, do whatever you normally would do for your exports. So that's really all it takes. You know, it's seems like it'd be a lot harder because it's after effects, but really it's super simple. You know, you don't need to know after effects to be able to do this. Uh, it's a great way to show off your websites and because it's got that movement and that motion, it looks a lot more dynamic and it's very like, it's a lot more interesting versus just using a screenshot or a normal mockup. Uh, you can also uh, play with it a little bit and kind of make it your own. You know, maybe you add a second page like we were talking about earlier. Whatever you want to do, go ahead and try that. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.